Hey guys, I thought I would actually make some recommendations today for some things that could help you prepare for Japan, namely literature and some music actually that helped me get through the Japan year. Before I went to Japan, I read a lot, not only of course about the language itself, but about their culture in order to get a better feel of what I was getting myself into. And I thought that you guys could read some of these things and they could really help you guys too. The first book that I really enjoyed, now I read quite a few, but the one that I liked the most was um, Learning to Bow Inside the Heart of Japan by Bruce Feiler, I think you would say. Maybe it's Feeler? Bruce Feiler? Feeler? Hmm. But yeah, Learning to Bow Inside the Heart of Japan. It's really good. It's about this teacher teaching English in Sano, so not, it's pretty far away from Tokyo. And he's he's the first gaijin in, in this little town, and he teaches English and tries to figure out this unusual school system. And the funny thing is, the very first chapter is about how he meets all the other teachers and the school principal by going bathing with them. And I thought that was just brilliant. The second book that I can recommend is, um, I have it right here next to me, this one right here, uh, A Year in Japan by Kate T. Williamson. It's a beautiful book because because I'm about to be an art student. This is actually, it's, it's a watercolor book. Or, well, it, I mean, she does all her drawings in watercolor, and it's these beautiful images that she does, and, and everything that she's written here is, is handwritten, and it's just beautiful. Um, like, things like that. I mean, that's just gorgeous. And, it, and it's these interesting insights on things that you wouldn't usually think about, just these cute little tokens of, of Japanese culture that I didn't even know about. And it's so, it's so nicely illustrated that it's it's... A good investment no matter what. Now if you do speak German, I have two books that I can highly recommend. The first one is um, from Christoph Neumann, Darum Nerven Japaner. It's hilarious. If, if you can read German, I highly recommend it. I was laughing, I think, every five pages. Now some of it's somewhat inaccurate. I mean, not inaccurate, but he goes a bit overboard sometimes where I'm like, oh come on, that's, you know, you have to really look for people that actually act like that in Japan. But it's a generally a very fun read. And I've already read it twice. It's 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 good. And then a bit more serious is this one. Sprachlos in Japan von uh, Sabine Scholl. It's very, very good. It's very serious. And actually, I didn't read this until after I got back to Japan. And in every paragraph, I was like, oh my god, I know exactly how that feels. So they might have it translated into English by now. I have no idea. but. It's very, very good, and actually, of what I experienced personally, this seemed the most similar to what I went through. Besides that, I actually have some, some music recommendations. Um, for instance, one of my absolute favorite albums is High Vision from Supercar. I actually use a lot of their tracks in my videos. It's, it's pretty nice. Then, um, Globe, or is it Global? They have an album called Light, and actually my host family showed them to me first. Some of them are a bit, some of the times the lyrics get annoying because they're trying too hard to sound like they're speaking normal English, but generally it's good. And finally, if you haven't seen the movie Lost in Translation, go out and see it. It's amazing. It's actually really one of my absolute favorite movies, and the soundtrack is beautiful. I could listen to that entire soundtrack hundreds of times and I'd be like, this, this is Japan. This is, this is what it feels like here. Especially um, Ikebana from Kevin Shields and of course Air. They do nice stuff. Some of the music I used in my videos was from Roiksa. Roiksa? They're um, a Norwegian band, group, duo, techno duo, and they have these cute little funky sounds that can get you hip and happy when you're in the train in Japan. So yeah, I hope you guys like that as kind of other info concerning Japan. Read those books if you if you can. They're really, really good and they'll give you good insight on what the what Japan is like. Bye.